Mortgage rates are finally starting to drop. Now, what does this mean for our local Charlotte, North Carolina housing market? We'll discuss all this and more on our July Charlotte, North Carolina housing market deep dive. Stay tuned. If you are new to the channel and want to know all there is to know about the Charlotte area, make sure you click the subscribe button and turn notifications on so you'll be the first to know what's going on in our local Charlotte, North Carolina housing market. My name is Josh Finnegan, team leader with the Finnegan Group, powered by eXp Realty. And every single day, myself and my team get calls, texts, and emails from people just like you, either looking to move to the Charlotte area or within the Charlotte area. And I'll tell you, we absolutely love it. So whether you're looking to move in nine days or 90 days, feel free to give us a call, text us, email us, we can schedule a Zoom meeting. The link is just below. We'd love to learn a little bit more about what you're looking to accomplish and how we can make your move an easy one. So let's go ahead and take a look at our local Charlotte housing market. And to do so, we have to take a look at one of the biggest things affecting it, the mortgage rates. Now, the mortgage rates have recently started to fall over the past couple of weeks. We're actually starting to see the rate under that 6.5%. But Jerome Powell and the Federal Reserve have not actually changed rates yet. The Federal Reserve met at the end of July and they actually didn't do anything with rates. But what they did is they strongly indicated that we could see our first rate drop in September. So due to inflation and employment readings, we are starting to see the mortgage rate decrease ahead of the Fed doing anything. And it's because the Fed's prime rate and the mortgage rates are not directly tied to each other, they're more indirectly tied to each other. The mortgage rate is more tied towards the 10-year treasury yield. So as we started seeing more favorable data come out about inflation, we're starting to see see those mortgage rates dip a little bit. So we can possibly see this reinvigorate our market going into August and September. But right now, the first official rate drop should be in September, and it's expected the Fed will reduce their rate by one fourth of basis point. And it's currently expected we may see one other rate drop this year, which means we're starting to see ourselves move in the right direction of lower interest rates, which will reinvigorate this market and increase the number of sales, increasing the buyer's demand and also the sellers ready to take advantage of the market too. Which is a really good sign because we started to see the Charlotte housing market soften just a little bit. And when we're looking at the local housing market, what better place to start than the number of new listings on the market. In July, we saw 1,386 homes hit the market, which was a 3% decrease in the number of homes that hit the market in June, but it was a whopping 22% increase from the number of homes that hit the market this time last year. So we saw a huge increase in the number of new listings hitting the market year over year. And one of the biggest reasons we're seeing this is a lot of homeowners are frankly just not waiting for those rates to drop for them to hit the market. When you gotta move, you gotta move. In July, we saw 1,061 homes accept an offer, which was a 5% decrease from the number of homes we saw accept an offer in June, but it was a 3% increase in the number of homes accepted an offer in July of last year. So the number of pending sales did slightly decrease month over month, but the number of new listings listings outpaced the number of pending sales for the seventh month in a row, which means the number of homes for sale at any given time has increased steadily throughout this year. The number of active listings have actually increased by 36% year to date. And Charlotte's month's inventory is sitting at about 3.8 months. So even though the number of active listings have increased steadily throughout the year, we are still finding ourselves in a seller's market. It starts entering into more of an even buyers and sellers market around five to seven months months of inventory. So we are still seeing more active listings on the market at any given time in our month's inventory higher than we've seen over the past few years, but we are still in a seller's market. There is still a good amount of buyer's demand for the amount of homes we have for sale. In July, we saw 1,051 homes close, which was a 2% decrease from the number of homes we saw close in June, but it was a 3% increase in the number of homes that closed in July of last year. In July, we saw the average sales price of 500 $189,000, which was a 5% decrease in the average sales price that we saw in June, but it was an 11% increase from the average sales price in July of last year. So even though we saw a slight month to month dip, there is still a huge year over year appreciation in home prices here in Charlotte. We're just starting to see that the higher levels of housing inventory is 
is starting to put a damper on this housing market. But with the recent rate drops, we'll probably see that market pick back up and reinvigorate itself as more buyers jump into the market. So what does this mean for you home buyers? If you are currently in the market to purchase a home here in Charlotte, we have seen the inventory increase. So number one, you're gonna have more homes to choose from. Number two, those sellers are seeing more competition. So we have seen those price decreases increase and we have seen home buyers able to get a little bit more favorable terms when negotiating. And now actually may be a pretty good time for your home buyers to jump into the market because those mortgage rates did slide a little bit, which has increased your home buying affordability, but we are still seeing a lot of inventory in the market compared to what we saw over the past few years. So you may be able to take advantage of the market before all these other buyers get off the sideline, jump in, and we start seeing the inventory get gobbled up and you start seeing a little bit more competition on these homes like you saw the past few years. And for you home sellers considering making a move, if you hit the market right now, will you see a little bit more competition than you previously have seen? And the answer is frankly, yes. But we are starting to see those rates drop. So in the next few weeks, we should see the buyers reinvigorate and come back into the market. And we are seeing healthy home price appreciation year over year. So one, it's still a seller's market. Two, you have seen a healthy amount of home price appreciation over the past year and few years to be frank and you are still seeing favorable terms for sellers you just really want to keep an eye on the market and that month's inventory so you're in the best position to achieve you and your family's goals but guys the biggest question of Josh should I buy right now or should I sell right now really depends on you and your family's personal situation and personal goals so if you are considering moving whether it be in nine days or nine 90 days or just thinking is now the right time for me feel free to give us a call text us email us I'd love to answer any questions for you discuss your goals and if now is the right time for you and your family so if you are considering making a move scan this QR code right here or give us a call text or email we'd love to learn a little bit more about what you're looking to accomplish your family's goals and how we can help make this transition a smooth one guys thank you so much for watching I'll catch you in the next video